three, two minutes. One is to one or one is to two? How do you say one is to one? Okay. One is to two? Only one. People have ditched you. Okay, should I do this question now? Okay, one minute I am giving you. Please solve it quickly. What actually? Thank you. 
like class 10, 9 to 10 thinking is oh, look at the so question, there is a formula to apply. You start looking for formula, right? To so substitute whatever is given. That's not how it will be done in 11. When you look at the question, step number one, understand what it is. Then only you should think of any formula. Alright, so based on this situation only, question number 15. The range is what? Find out the horizontal range of this project type. What is the range? It is very simple. It will just take 5 seconds to solve it now. Huh? No, options I will not show. Question I will show. No, option name. Tell me, it's very easy. Time of flight, let's say, time of flight you have better money? So range should be what? Into U cos eta. Into U cos eta. Time of flight into U cos eta should be answer or not? Acceleration is changing, but that is changing along y axis. X axis velocity will remain unchanged. Have you understood this? Yes, sir. U cos eta into time of flight, which is B option. Right, so u cos eta into u center by g into 1 plus 1 by 0 2. Okay, so which one option? Option B. This one. Find out angle with which the projectile will hit the ground. And this angle. I am trying to find out what is this angle. Understood? Remember, tan of angle with the x-axis, any, any moment is d by by dx, isn't it? This is a slope. If you multiply and divide by t, you will get dy by dt divided by dx by dt. dy by dt is what? Velocity of y-axis divided by velocity of x-axis. So, a ratio of velocity of y-axis divided by velocity of x-axis is the angle with the horizontal. Just find out what is the velocity along y-axis at that moment and velocity along x-axis at that moment. You will get tan of this angle. You get the slope of it. Okay? You get this angle. And phi is 180 minus theta. These level of questions are very common in your uh, CET or J mains. Okay? They are common. Or uh, CET. CET. Right? Not at all. Not I'll show you. Stay back for last one. I'll show you. But then yes, they, what they do is that they practice for two years all of these topics. Then after the end of two years, you will see that these questions will feel that they are routine type of questions. They are not very routine. Did you get velocity along y axis? Have you derived it? How much it is? What you will do if you have to find out velocity of y axis? V y square is equal to u y between 2 and 3 you use. At point 2, velocity of y axis is 0. So use v square equal to u square by 2 as between 2 and 3, you get v y. Once you get v y, v x is u cos eta always. You take a ratio of v y and v x, you get the answer. Understood? Okay, v x. Is your initial velocity along x-axis u cos eta v y square is u y square is zero plus two g into h max. H max is this. What? Ha, two into two g. Ha. Two into two g. Okay. Let's see the answers. 16C, BBC. BBC. You got C? And anyone got C here? Okay.